The best way to sum up Secret of the Milaganda is with three words. Monster, murder, mystery. Because that's literally what most of this episode is. Several days ago, an expedition team on Oilus Island finds a rare flower known as the Milaganda. Hoping to experiment on it because science, the expedition's botanist, Dr. Yamada, takes it back with him to Japan, only to expose the plant to some radiation. As expected with most kaiju origins, the Milaganda transforms into a malicious plant known as Green Mons, who proceeds to not only kill the doctor, but also hunts down the other members of the expedition one by one. Can the science patrol find out who the killer is before the last of the expedition team is found? And is this more of an early slasher flick precursor than a murder mystery? Off the bat, the plot is already similar to a Sherlock Holmes murder mystery. But while that is a territory that the kaiju slash toku genre is not exposed to as often, I can't say it really works much here, since it comes off as somewhat outlandish and predictable before the episode's climax. Characterization too is also not all that interesting here either, as the only real people who stand out most in this episode, apart from a few running gags from Ito, is Dr. Iwamoto, the Science Patrol's head scientist and researcher who finally makes his debut, and Setsuko Hamaguchi, but all they're really relegated to is just providing some exposition and nothing else. Effects are also a bit of a flub, as some scenes where the expedition members are being killed remind me a lot of slasher flicks, like Friday the 13th or Halloween, which is interesting at first, only to be bogged down by Green Mons himself, just groaning and flashing a green Febreze sprayer at his victims. And speaking of which, Green Mons is another pretty uninteresting monster itself. Whether it's somehow knowing who it's killing like someone else we'll talk about sometime later on in these reviews, or just spraying stuff for funsies, it can easily be seen as to why he's not as remembered as a bunch of Ultraman's other opponents. He's just downright boring. Overall, apart from the slasher-like vibes the episode has at times, this is another pretty bland episode that you won't miss much by skipping. Shwatting!